Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll tell you about what is an hydraulic press. Okay, as you can see on the board, I'm going to explain what is an hydraulic press. If it's your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. Okay, smash that like button. Also, leave us a comment. You know how much we do value our subscribers. We make sure that we take time to go through each and every comment and we always reply. Okay. That's it. So what is it that I'm going to show you in this video? I'm going to show you what is an hydraulic press, okay? What is it used for and how to do calculations on an hydraulic press, okay? That's it. So at the first place, what is an hydraulic press? You need to know that an hydraulic press, it's a machine that generates a compressive force, okay? Mostly used to press or to lift load, okay? Like when you use an hydraulic jack to lift up your car it's a typical case of an hydraulic press okay that's it so how to do calculation on the hydraulic press is what i'm actually going to show you okay then after that there's a question uh, that i'm going to put on the board on hydraulic press i'm going to solve step by step and show you what to do okay so let us get to how do you do calculations on a hydraulic press okay uh, there are about three main points that i'm going to show you uh, the first point it's on pressure okay the second point it's on volume then the third and the last point it's on work done okay that's it so let's talk of pressure here okay i'll first present the press to you okay we do have the small cylinder which is called the plunger this is where the operator puts into the effort okay that's it we call it small f and we do have the big uh cylinder which is actually called the ram that is where we have our load that has to be lifted okay that's it from here up to here is the stroke length of the plunger okay then from here up to here is the stroke length of the ram okay that's it so let us talk of pressure how do you calculate pressure here you need to know that the pressure on the plunger is equal to the pressure on the ram okay so from here we can say that p1 is equal to p2 okay let's consider p1 as the pressure on the plunger and p2 as the pressure on the rim okay p1 will be equal to what is equal to f over a okay small f which is the pressure uh, which is the force i mean on the plunger and small a which is the area on the plunger okay but please you, you need to know that area can be equal to pi times d squared over 4 okay if we have to replace it in expression of pressure what do we get p1 becomes f over pi d squared over 4 okay the 4 can actually go on top then we get p1 is equal to 4f over pi times d squared okay that's it we can call this expression one okay then it means what uh that the pressure on the rail which is p2 p2 can be equal to 4 times big f okay which is our load that has to be lifted over pi times big d squared okay we consider big d as diameter of the rail we call this 2 okay so as p1 is equal to p2 we can say that 1 is equal to 2 okay equation one is equal to equation two what do we get equation one is four small f over pi big over pi times small d squared that's it okay equation two is what it's four times big f over pi d squared anything getting simplified yes you do have four on the first member of the equation another four on the second member they can get simplified pi on the first member okay and pi on the second member you remain with what you remain with f over d squared is equal to big f over big d squared this is 
a very important relationship. Okay, that's it. So this the relationship on on uh, pressure. As I said, I'll also show you the relationship on volume. Okay, then I'll also show you the relationship on weight that. That's it. I'm giving you some few time before I can wipe this off. Maybe some will have to pause and copy. Okay. Very important relationship, okay? It's very useful in calculations. From here, let us move to the volume, okay? Let's say volume. What is the rule on volume? The rule on volume is the volume displaced by the plunger is equal to the volume received by the rain, okay? So we can say that V1 is equal to V2. That's it, okay? Then what is the volume on the plunger? For you to find the volume on the plunger, you need to multiply area of the plunger times the stroke length of the plunger, okay? Same as for you to find the volume on the rain, you need to multiply the cross-sectional area of the rim times the stroke length of the rim, okay? That's it. So volume on the plunger will be equal to what? Small a, which is area of the plunger, times small l, which is the stroke length of the plunger, okay? Equal to big A, which is the cross-sectional area of the rim, times big L, which is the stroke length of the rim, okay? We know that area is what? Pi d squared over 4. We did this previously when we were speaking of pressure, times the stroke length will be what? Pi d squared over 4 times big L. Okay? That's it. Anything getting simplified, yes, you do have pi here, you do have pi on the other side, okay? You have 4 on the first member, you have 4 on the second member, so we remain with what? d squared L is equal to big d squared times L. Okay, another very important relationship that is very useful in calculations, okay? That's it. As I said, you need to know that volume displaced by the plunger is equal to volume received by the rain, okay? We pause V1 is equal to V2. After simplification, this is the relationship that we get, okay? That's it. Then from here, we also... Uh, I'll also show you the relationship on work done, okay? Then after that, there's a question that I'm going to put on the board, of which I'm going to go through step by step, solve and explain what to do, okay? Now let's talk of the relationship on work done. Okay. Let's say work done. Okay, you need to know that the work done on the plunger is equal to the work done on the rim. Okay, we say W1 is equal to W2. That's it. And the work done on the plunger is equal to the force on the plunger times stroke length of the plunger. Okay, work done on the rim is equal to the load which is on the rim times stroke length of the rim. You'll notice something, okay? All variables on the small cylinder, which is the plunger, we use small letters, okay? But uh, all, and then all variables on the rim, which is the bigger cylinder, we use big letters, okay? Uh, this has nothing to do with the values, okay? Obviously, it's, uh, it has something to do with F, which is the force, okay? But in terms of stroke length, you can visibly see that. Uh, stroke length of the plunger is bigger than stroke length of the ram, okay? What is it that I'm trying to explain? I'm saying that variables of the small cylinder, we use small letters, okay? Then on the bigger cylinder, which is the ram, we use big letters, okay? That's it. Very important relationship. And also, something I'd like to explain before we can get to our question there is what we call by work done against pressure. Okay, I'll explain. Work done against pressure. Okay, what is work done against pressure? 
you need to know that work done against pressure is equal to pressure times volume okay so work done is equal to pressure times volume what is w w it's your work done okay with the si unit of joule that's it p it's your pressure si unit pascal and v it's your volume in cubic meters okay guys these are the necessary information that you need to master on the hydraulic press okay once you know this you're able to do any kind of calculations on hydraulic press okay as i say there's a question we're going to put on the board okay of which i'm going to go through step by step solve explain and show you what to do this is the question we're going to solve okay uh, we do have it on the board i'll first do the reading okay identify data then i'll solve show you what to do okay in full details actually that's it so i will do the reading of the question okay and write down data we can say solution the question tells you that the following data refers to a hydraulic press okay area of the plunger they're giving us the value of area of the plunger this is small a is equal to 0 0.09 square meters okay stroke length of the plunger this is small l 0 0.13 meters and they tell you the force applied on the plunger this is small f the force that the operator puts into okay is 300 newton that's it and they tell you area of the ram this is big a okay is equal to 0, 0,45 square meters okay that's it what is the question asking you to do they tell you neglect all losses and calculate the following okay number one they want you to calculate volume displaced by the plunger okay let's say v that's it then number two they want you to calculate distance moved by the rail after one pumping stroke of the plunger okay we can call this by big l that's it number three they want you to calculate force exerted by the rail okay this is big f and then number four they want you to calculate the fluid pressure okay we can just say p okay that's it so we do have data okay and we know what is asked so we can just wipe this top to create space okay then i'll actually go through calculations that's it these comments are no longer necessary okay we've identified data that's it okay i can say solution on top here so the first question was asking us to find the volume displaced by the plunger okay which is v v by definition is equal to what area times stroke length okay how much is area of the plunger it's 0 0.09 how much is stroke length of the plunger it's 0 0.13 okay on your side you can punch your calculator and find how much are we getting on my side i'm getting 0 0.0117 cubic meters okay that's it then number two they want us to find um the distance moved by the rail after one pumping stroke on the plunger in other terms they just want you to find the stroke length of the rail okay that's it we know that v1 is equal to v2 what is the meaning of this volume displaced by the plunger is equal to volume received by by the rail okay we did explain this previously so what do we get small a times small m is equal to big a times big l we need big l okay we make it the subject of the formula we get what small a times small l over 
big A. That's it. How much is small a? It's 0, 0,09. Small l, 0, 0,13. Okay. Then how much is area of the rain? This is given 0, 0,45 square meters. Okay. Do this on your side. How much do you get? On my side, I'm getting 0, 0,026 meters. Okay. That's it. Then question number three, they're asking us to find uh, the force exerted on the rain. Okay, this is big F. Okay, we know that small f over small a is equal to big F over big A. Okay, there's no need for us to use diameters here because these values are known. Okay, they are actually given. We do have value of areas. So we just have to make F the subject of the formula. That's it. F will be equal to what? We get small f times big A over small a. Okay? We can substitute numbers and find value of big F. So that's it. Small f is equal to what? Is 300 newton. Okay? These are part of our data. It was given. Big A, which is area of the rain, it's 0, 0,45. That's it. And then small a, which is area of the plunger, 0, 0,09. Punch the calculator on your side. How much do you get? On my side, I'm getting 1,500 Newton, okay? That's it. And then the fourth and the last question, they want you to find uh, the pressure exerted, okay? You need to know that pressure on the rim is equal to pressure on the plunger. So you choose the cylinder where you can actually calculate pressure, okay? Uh, you can use the plunger here. That's it. This is question number four. So pressure, as we're using the plunger, okay? It's small f over small a. How much is small f again? It was 300 newton. How much is small a? is equal to 0, 0,09. Do this on your side, how much do you get? On my side, I'm getting 3,333,333. Okay, standard unit of pressure, it's Pascal. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, okay? This is what the question was asking you to do. And from now on, you have a full picture, okay? about the hydraulic press, what is an hydraulic press, what is it used for, and how to do calculations on the hydraulic press, okay? If there's anything related to this that's still giving you hard time, kindly communicate with us, okay? We'll make sure that we attend to that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video.